Let's spend some time talking about how end users view information access, how they think about it. And of course, none of us here are really end users. We're all in some way engaged in the profession of information management. Um, but let's try to put ourselves in the position of a typical end user, someone whose job is completely not what we do, not the world of making pages and, and making sure that they're accessible, etc. Let's put ourselves in the shoes of someone who really just has a job to get done and is using our information systems in order to get that job accomplished. The end user, I would say, really has an integrated experience. They don't take things apart. They don't, they don't slice the website up. They don't really see the difference between information, navigation, and access. They really don't, excuse me, and, um, and layout and form. They really have all those put together. And in fact, if you've done a good job creating a web experience, that's exactly what you've done. You've integrated all the different parts, all the pieces of the, um, of the, of the information puzzle so that the user has a seamless and unified experience. So they really don't think about things the way that we do. And all the assumptions that I'll make going forward here about um, the ways that they look at information and the ways they name things are really just projections onto them. Most of the time they have a very simple idea. I want to find something. I look around. This looks like it'll get me to that thing. I'll click on it and away I go and hopefully it gets me what I want. If it doesn't, I'll back up and try something else. Um, later, we'll see that um, all the different ways, we'll, we'll take a look at the various ways that, that users uh, interact with our, with our websites and I'll try to give you the user perspective on each of those ways. And then we'll see that there's lots of different ways they interact with websites, lots of different semi-names that they call things, different ways that they think about stuff. And then hopefully later on we'll get to the point where we can see that behind that array, or behind that vast uh, naming structure of information, of types of access structures, types of navigation, that there's really a very simple way to uncurl it all and see it as just instances of a very few types of access.